Do you have food and water, security, safety, intimate relationships and friends, success, self-actualization? I'm David Rosen, and today on Inside the Broker Studio, we're gonna discuss all of these things and more. When people consider where to buy a home, subconsciously they're processing Maslow's hierarchy of needs. There are five uh, needs in his pyramid. The first one is physiological needs. You're talking about an ability to sleep, ability to eat and drink water. This is the baseline that you need for any home. Number two is safety needs. People will live in a home if it's got the physiological needs, even if it's not safe. Safety needs are a concern, but it's not as important as the physiological needs. Now notice, number one is more important than number two. The next one is belongingness and love needs. Will people love me if I live in this home, like my wife or husband or children? Number four is esteem needs. Will people respect me if I live in this home, which is different. It's one thing to accept someone, it's another thing to respect someone. When we respect someone more, we're probably going to pay more money for this prestigious home. Now, the fifth of Maslow's needs is it's called self-actualization. Traits of a self-actualizing person, or they are very confident, they can you know, see their own flaws publicly. A property that you know, is purchased by someone in the fifth of Maslow's hierarchy might include something like the penthouse at the Plaza Hotel, which was listed by uh, the agent for Tommy Hilfiger for $65 million at one point. I think they're down to 58 now. Or Ken Griffin's purchase recently of $230 million at, on Central Park South. These types of trophy properties, uh, you know, of course they, uh, provide safety, of course they provide physiological needs, of course they you know, are suitable for your loved ones and will get you respect. When you get these incredibly high price points, you're talking about the self-actualizing vision of the person who wishes to own and inhabit and possess this type of real estate. Whenever you are looking for a framework within which to comprehend and analyze any bit of real estate, one excellent tool is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Thank you again for joining us this week on Inside the Broker's Studio. If you have any further questions about Maslow's hierarchy as pertains to real estate values, please contact myself or the show. See you next week.